how's it going welcome ladies and gentlemen with uh, another video from Aries Acolytes this is going to be another one of the uh, transition series uh, episodes that I have going along just kind of tracking progress that I'm doing on my path to three starring town hall lines I'm just gonna tell everybody to say hi here um, see what they're talking about looks like Warpig is getting pretty close to uh, finishing up his his Town Hall 8 uh, he's got Valks and Golems left uh, he's definitely got he's definitely got some work to do as far as research goes and but he's definitely moving along in terms of his base so got a lot of walls going and looks like all his defenses are maxed out yeah looks like all his Teslas were the last thing to be done so oh, good job to warp back here alright well I'm gonna get into the attack now and uh, oh watch him call you just kinda show you guys what was going on war was against DB Inc um, you can catch my other video if you guys want to see the, some other attacks on the war recap um, but I'm going to show you my attack and so um, this is a, it, it's a forum style base but it's not exactly uh, I haven't exactly seen it as far as it being a popular town hall 9 base uh, that could just be, uh, you know, me not not knowing the information. It could also have been just, hey, maybe it's not out there. Um, but it is a kind of a forum style base. It is an anti two, uh, and it's definitely got this center town hall. Um, but it's got some good elements to it. Uh, a, there's some some good uh, double big bomb areas. Uh, I wouldn't call them good. I should say there is uh, spots for them. Uh, you can tell that they're in between basically all these defenses on the outside. Pretty much there is uh, areas for double big bombs, and um, you know that's always. Even though it's not the best of placement, it's this is still as far everything except for walls is a max town hall line. So anytime you're dealing with max defense town hall nines, um, it's always a little tricky, even with those bombs. But sometimes you know maybe one triggers before you see it. You don't have the heal on it, and if there's a lot of open slots like this, you you could very well be doing other portions of your hog grade and miss one, or you're a little too patient and then you run out of time. So it's it's a very tricky anytime that you're doing. Um, uh, or attacking a Mac Town Hall line, and uh, even if it's an uh, uh, more of an anti two or forum style base, it's it's still something that can be you, you can mess up on it very easily just because of the fact that it is a Max Town Hall line. So um uh, and and but relatively low heroes. Um, so. I'm going to get into what I saw on the base and my plans of attack for it. Um, what I saw on the base was um, the the weak spot that I saw was if you click on these air defenses right here and you take a look, these three defenses aren't really um, covered by air defense they don't really have a whole lot of air coverage so and also he does the base leaves me a nice little slot right to these archer towers and what I saw was that it was going to be a tough CC pool coming from the north side at any point uh, that so 
a CC pool from the north was just completely out of the question. Uh, unless I wanted to kill him on the move. Um, so I started looking at the south side. And I kind of I said, well... Um, what can I do to get the, maybe these three defenses down? Um, and also get the CC pool. So I looked at balloons. And... Uh, I looked at it and I said, okay, well, which one's closer? I counted the tiles. It looked like there was one, two, three, four tiles to that one, and probably one, two, three tiles to this one. It's it's really more one. Uh, I think it's one, two. So, no, it's actually two, but with the way that the angle is, it makes it look like it's more like four to the center. So... It, either way, it is slightly further away than the wizard tower. And if you kind of, if you look at the CC, if you get balloons onto this archer tower, you're not going to get the pool. But if they go from the archer tower to the wizard tower, it's just enough to where you'll be one tile inside that inside. So my plan was. Uh, I'm going to bring four balloons. I'm going to put two balloons on each side here. And uh, two balloons, two balloons. And I thought about bringing a balloon right here. Um, but I almost wanted my hogs to go here, here, and then here just to split or to do something to get to these expos because I didn't want them to have to do this number where if I brought in hogs here they went here 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 I wanted this down I wanted these hogs to uh, immediately get into what I expected was going to be a quad tesla core and got this guys this was a first attack so I didn't know where any of the bombs were and I didn't know where any of the um, teslas were but you can kind of see here, it really looks like a quad Tesla moat or quad Tesla core. And the other thing is, I had no idea where big bombs were. I didn't know if you maybe had uh, a double big bomb here, 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 here. Oh, um, not here. Could you fit one here? Let me check. Uh, doesn't look like he could have fit one. Maybe he could have here here I, I didn't know there was kind of a lot of slots none of them were actually very good but there was a lot of slots for them you know he could it could have been here my guess was that I thought that probably two were here and given that two were there maybe something here that was just my guess I'm not sure if I was actually 100% right when I, I'll, I'll rewatch this right now and we'll get into it but um, I'm pretty sure these two were on the money. So uh, I'm going to take a quick second really uh, to, uh, to show you guys exactly uh, pictorially what, it, what I was looking at. Um, this is just me using, you know, just a little phone editor of what I wanted to do so I was gonna drop those balloons in and then um, once I got the balloons the whole goal was to get that CC and what I wanted to do actually as well was drop these two first just slightly ahead of these two so that once they pulled here and these two um, once the air defense locked onto those balloons and they went down these would be alive just a little longer so they would so the CC would actually do this number, and it would be closer to this side. So their line would be right in, right along this uh, air defense archer tower. And my whole goal was I wanted to drop one archer to anchor, and then I was going to drop a golem, wizards behind it. Arch uh, Gollum, Wizards behind it, Archer Queen. And I was going to drop my Barb King nice and late. 
and uh, drop a jump spell right here. You see where this green circle is. And that's going to give me a lot of access right here, right into this queen. And, uh, you know, he's the Barb King, Golem, Tanking, everything. Um, Barb King was just going to use it. I was going to use my ability, smack that queen. And then I was going to get into the uh, hog portion of my raid. And the hog portion of the raid is going to look something like this. And uh, the thing was, I was hoping, okay, if I drop my golem there and here, and I had wizards backing him up, uh, ideally, this archer tower would be down, that wizard tower would be down, that cannon would be down, that archer tower would be down, that cannon would be down. These two would have been taken out from the uh, balloons, and as I had alluded to earlier, I wanted to make sure that I went from this cannon to the mortar so that I didn't have kind of a little bit of a hog rig. I don't know if they had a path there, but I didn't want them going from the expo, expo to the mortar rather than expo to Teslas. So I was going to drop uh, three hogs, three hogs, two hogs, uh, no, and then I was going to drop a giant real quick. Two hogs, three hogs, three hogs, giant, three hogs, three hogs, three hogs. And then my heal, sp heal spells are going to look something like this. I was going to try and get it on the edge of that Tesla. Same thing, kind of same kind of deal here, kind of like more in this region. And then a heal spell right here, right at the top. So let's get... Let's get into, oh, uh, I've been disconnected due to inactivity. Let's get back into this. Um, I'm going to show the rate now. Get back into the Warlog details. And let's check out the attack. So now that you guys have seen it, I'm going to give you guys just an overview again of what the base looked like. And we're going to get into the replay. I'm going to give you my commentary on on what I could have done, what I could have done better. Um, got the two balloons, two balloons. And once that happened, and you see that, that went down. One of the things I was really worried about was some Teslas right there. And thank goodness that there was not any there because uh, otherwise if there had been, I would have been really, really uh, in some bad shape, and I probably would have walked away with a one star. So now you see me get the golems going, drop that poison, got wizards behind it. One thing I did mess up on is I dropped my wizards straight on, and I should have dropped them kind of at an angle here. I think they would have targeted that archer tower before they went to that army camp. Unfortunately, I didn't get that. But uh, everything else right here is going to plan. I'm getting everything. King's dropped nice and late. He's going straight for that queen. And once he gets onto that queen, I'm going to drop that. And there's a balloon running around. That queen's going to take care of that. I just start the hog portion of this raid. So, oh, there was a big bomb there. Start it. Start moving around. So you get two big bombs there. Okay, so that there was two big bombs, two big bombs. So I start that. Keeping those ones alive, they're going to be standing and heal for that expo and a double big bomb there. So I made a little bit of bacon there. As you can tell, it's a first attack, but luckily I had three hogs left over and I have heal spells for this. At that point, both of the big, both of the big bombs or all big bombs were triggered. So I knew I need, really needed to keep them alive in that core. So I used a kind of an overstacked heal spell. Um, not exactly ideal, but it is what it is. And by this point, all defenses are down, and I'm just getting my cleanup working. And the cleanup on this is probably what saved me on the rig. Um, you know, I got one, two, three, four, four wizards. I have a few barbs uh, working, but my hogs locked onto that king. I only have a few hogs left, but you know, hogs they do do they do output a lot of damage so you'll see they, they they they're able to get through that core and with these four wizards that I got four wizards can really put in some cleanup work these four wizards 
they they really get the job done. They're the ones that that uh, that really start to bring home all these high uh, HP buildings down. They just start putting in work. I got a few hogs in there, and now it's about to go down, and it's a three star. So that one really worked out well. Uh, as I said, I got really lucky. I think with the uh, with the plan, uh, if there had been Teslas right on this on these Archer towers, I probably would have walked away with a one star, maybe maybe a one star. Uh, but fortunately, uh, my scout of the base was pretty pretty close to being on point outside of maybe uh, double big bombs here uh, or a big bomb set big bomb set right here uh, but right it ended up being right here and I made a little bit of bacon but that's the advantage of surgical hogs um, if you have a lot of potential for those sets uh, like that you can get away with only losing three six hogs max and yeah, that's it's kind of a lot of hogs, but it's not exactly it can it doesn't have to be a deal breaker. So um, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, if you see this style of base, hopefully you guys now have a good idea of how to attack it. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you guys. This is JL from Aries Acolytes signing off.